Good morning everyone, it's about 8.30am. You are watching Life of Ryan and I thought I'd give you a little update on the property that we went to see this for sale last week. There's been some developments, I guess you could say. Uh, however, first of all, we've got a fun day of work planned at the convent. So I'm just going to make my bed, pack my bag and then we're going to head to the convent. So let's go. Okay, so we're going to the convent now, leaving the wonderful comfort of the chateau. It's not too chilly this morning, which is surprising because this weekend's been absolutely freezing. But I'm looking forward to having a good fun day of work with Billy and Rick, and I don't know who else is in. We'll find out. Well, okay everyone, kind of random, but it's almost half past five in the early evening now. I know, the day is over, right? What just happened? Well, I did film a little bit um, of the day today on this tiny little camera. That's right, that's a camera. And it just attaches magnetically to your chest. There we go. Look at that. That's, that's quite interesting, isn't it? Uh, anyway. The quality is going to be uh, terrible of this camera, but um, well, it allows you guys to see a little bit of the day. So let me just show you what we got up to today. So first of all, I walked to the baker's to get myself breakfast and lunch for everyone else. There I am, very proud of myself with those lovely French baguettes. And of course, I needed my morning coffee to wake up. And by the way, Sean is in today. Good to see Sean. Uh, the coffee was amazing and the croissant chocolat was equally delicious. So here I am, editing away the video that went out on the Perfects channel today. Uh, good fun, I enjoyed filming this video and editing it. It was a long one but it was well worth it. Um, and there I am, of course, deep in concentration mode, lost in my thoughts. Uh, looking good, Ryan, looking good. Uh, and of course, I just thought I'd show you what it looks like to hold the camera as well. That camera's quite heavy, by the way. <laughs> So there you have it. Now you know what it's like uh, to be at the convent in, I showed you the whole day in about 30 seconds. <laughs> but there is something more interesting that I do wanna show you. Now, I did mention that uh, I'm gonna give you an update on the property from my previous video, which I'm going to do. Uh, if you're not interested in me, you wanna just get the update and skip to the end of the video. But I did go and check out a village uh, because there were some properties for sale in this village. I did this over the weekend, and unfortunately, I had a bit of a fail, uh, and the weather was atrocious. It wasn't rain, it wasn't snow, it was something else. Uh, in fact, I'll just show you, okay? Let's check this out. So the property is called Down or Don. I'm not quite sure how you pronounce it, and I think you can pretty much tell from that first clip you just saw what the issue is. Uh, it's very foggy, but uh, you can see there's a nice river here. It's the river Mayen uh, Very nice river one of my favorite rivers in fact and uh, I parked just outside a uh, the other side of a bridge So I thought it'd be lovely to cross the bridge and admire the wonderful view of this village However, <laughs> you can see the fog is terrible uh, So I do actually talk on the day so Ryan from the day is going to interject and leave his thoughts so that way you don't have to listen to me voice over Ryan ramble on. People were still out and about, which was nice to see, despite the terrible weather. So let's hear from Ryan on the day. Welcome everyone to the village of Daung. And unfortunately, I've decided once again to go out on one of the foggiest possible days. <laughs> so the views are terrible, uh, but nonetheless, it's quite nice. I've decided to, um, dress a bit more warm today 
and uh, I'm on a bridge. I'm crossing a bridge over the river Mayenne. I would love to have a house on the river or at least overlooking the river and check out these houses. I do agree with myself. Uh, the properties here, the houses, the buildings are beautiful. They really are. And this is strange because this village is incredibly rural, quite random to see a mini golf uh, thing um, on the side of a river in a small village. But uh, I do think there's like a campsite nearby. So maybe in the summertime, this village is quite popular uh, to camp at. Uh, so here I am down by the footpath on the foot of the river itself. And it's okay, it's quite well maintained, especially considering the time of year. It looks pretty good, the path is clear, people are using it, which is good to see. Um, again, let's hear from me on the day. Well, I'm trying to find the church to get my bearings in this village. And one thing I must say, this hill, very steep, which is a good bit of exercise, which I need. So anyway, let's carry on. More cute little houses. That one's kind of modern, but uh, yeah, I did struggle to go uphill. <laughs> At this point, I really did. But finally, I did spot the church and I felt like I was getting ever closer to it. So I just had to push on and uh, get there in the end. But yeah, these properties is really cute. I can imagine the views are really nice when the weather permits it. Yeah. Finally, we're reaching the main road now and here I spot a sign which got me very excited. However, upon reading the sign, it actually says Vendu, which means that property is sold. I would have loved to have known how much that property sold for because it seems kind of cheap, to be honest. It's quite a modest property. Uh, finally, we're approaching the church. You know, I've cut out all the boring bits, to be honest, because uh, the video will be an hour long. Otherwise, so here we are in the heart of the village now. Um, and again, can't really see too many people, but there's cars about. The church is quite a different style of church, to be honest. Um, yeah, you don't really see them like this, kind of like two-tone with the tower. And then the uh, rest of the building is completely different. But uh, I like it, nonetheless. I really do like it. And uh, there's the mairie. I'll show you that building very, very shortly. But let me just show you the front of the church, the front door. And uh, I don't know if you find this as interesting as I do, but that front door is super, super cute. And I like the stained glass window above it as well. What a beautiful front door. Very well maintained. <laughs> I don't know, I just like it. And here, of course, is the mairie. And the mairie, the town hall, is usually a very nice building. And in this case, it is no exception. Again, let's hear from me on the day. Uh, I like it. I like the fact that there's the River Mayenne and I like the quaint little uh, streets, which are uphill or downhill, depending on which way you're coming from. But uh, yeah, beautiful church. It's small, it's quite modest in terms of French churches, but this is a relatively small village anyway. I must admit, I'm getting a little bit worried now because the pavement's just ended and I'm walking on the road and I don't even know if I'm going the right way. I can see the church on the other side of the church now from where I came from. So I'm just hoping this road takes me back to where I started this little walk. <laughs> we need to find the bridge. And here is the proof that the road is quite treacherous, which is something you don't usually see in France, even in small villages. They are usually very well maintained. But finally, we see the bridge. But that's not all that we see. Look at this. That's right, it is a, uh, a fire brigade, you know? Um, yeah, very interesting to see that, where the firefighters operate from. Very small, random, in a French little village like this. Well, okay, I think this video is turning into a little bit of a foul. Um, <laughs> it's super foggy. I didn't find any houses for sale, even though there was a few that I found online. So I am a little bit sad. You know, we did see that house that's already sold, but that's not, that's not really interesting because it's already sold. But uh, yeah, nonetheless, I did have a good walk, an enjoyable walk, a very foggy walk, but I do hope you enjoyed uh, the quaint little walk around a little random French village in the middle of nowhere. Um, I promise you, this place is probably much more beautiful when there's no fog, but I can, I can barely see the church behind us. 
it's crazy how foggy it is today. Uh, so I've got a nice drive back now. Love you and leave ya. Bye bye now. There you have it for that little walk in a random French village with terrible weather. <laughs> I sincerely apologise. I completely failed. However, I still wanted to show you that village because I drove over an hour to get there. So it's more than a two hour round trip and there was no way I was gonna waste that footage. <laughs> I just had to share it with you. So let me know in the comment section if you enjoyed that. But now what you've been waiting for, the update on the property that we saw last week, the beautiful, beautiful uh, property that needs renovating in the countryside, literally three minutes drive down the road from uh, the chateau, from Billy and Gwendolyn's wonderful chateau. Well, it's uh, it appears to be off the market. The, uh, the, the ad has been taken down off the internet, so it's either under offer which uh, would um, make sense based on what the neighbors told me, uh, or they decided to take it off the market, but I don't think so. I think that it's genuinely under offer and uh, it's about to be sold imminently. I didn't hear back from the agent, uh, which happens sometimes if the, the place is you know, inundated and it had been on the market for a few weeks so potential buyers were probably queuing up to get that place considering its price i think it was a really good price you win some you lose some hey ho that is life uh, to be honest yeah i don't feel don't feel don't feel like i've missed out on anything now to be honest because uh, what's meant to be is meant to be and what's not is not so onwards and upwards hope you enjoyed this video it's been a weird one to be honest it has been a weird one hasn't it i'm gonna love you and leave you now and I'll see you in the next video very soon, very, very soon indeed. Bye-bye <laughs> now.